Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgamerguru.com. Today I'd like to show you how to create text effect like this in Affinity Designer while keeping the text editable. So you can change the whole wording or you can just add a letter. I don't have to play around with curves or create rectangles below. I just add my letter and the extension happens right away. I can have extensions at the bottom and the top or I can have the extension in the middle, having the text bit on top and bottom and the bit in between being filled. Let's start by putting a text down. Take this text and turn it into a symbol. Once we've created the symbol, I put a rectangle at the base of the letters, make it really thin, but make sure the bottom of your letters is covered and then duplicate the symbol into the new rectangle as a clip. I can take the color off and if I pull the clip down now, it will extend the content with it. I can now edit the rectangle, for example, by grouping it and giving it a transparent gradient, or I can edit the symbol by giving the symbol different colors or a gradient, and it will change the bottom part with the extension automatically. This extension effect does not work with every font. You have to look for a font with a very straight baseline and preferably non-serif with blocky characters. If I choose something that like a Roman with a straight baseline works. If I take a font that has an uneven baseline, you can see the I and the T are not touching the baseline while the R is. I could now fix that and move my rectangle content a little bit up. But if I take fonts that are very uneven, like this one, the effect just would not work. The early examples had a photo attached to the text. There are various ways to combine a photo with the text. Let me just show two very quick ones. If we group the photo with the text effect and then select the photo and rasterize the photo to a mask, you will need a group to limit the effect of the mask. Otherwise it works on all layers below. The cleaner one to do is to take the text, place it on top of the photo and we're going to do a duplicate of it in the layer section, mask to below. This way the text acts as a mask and everything that is not text will be cut out of the photo. I can now use the duplicate I created earlier to color the photo in the blue green gradient. I just turn it back on to visible, set the layer mode to screen and adjust the opacity. And we have the photo inside the text. Seeing everything is still controlled by the symbol, making changes to the symbol changes everything, taking off a letter or changing the color. The design gets changed accordingly. When extending to the top, it works the same way, except I have the rectangle at the very top of my letters. I pull the symbol inside to clip it, take the rectangle and scale it upwards. For the extension towards the center, I placed everything in clips. So the top and the bottom half of the text are in respective clips and trim off the top and the bottom and the extensions fill in the bit below. I hope you like this quick video. Play around with it, try it out, enhance it, alter it, change it. Just have fun with Affinity Designer. Please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you would like to see in the next tutorials and I'll see you again soon.